Hello and welcome to the new mini series. I'm Trucker Jay and you're in my truck. We're in a 2013 Mercedes Actros. It's not the giga space, it's just got a little bit of space. There's not much storage and it's kind of awkward sometimes. It's okay for a couple of days. Um, I certainly wouldn't like to spend a month in it, that's for sure. Uh, so this episode is a short video and this is about cooking and food in the cab. Um, a lot of people assume if you're a truck driver you have to eat junk food and you're going to be large. Uh, that may be the case for some people, uh, not everybody. I would say most people aren't. Most drivers do try to eat healthy where possible. The only problem is, is convenience. Sometimes it's a lot easier just to think I'll just nip into McDonald's, I'll just nip into KFC uh, and that can, you can get that, do that quite a lot I haven't got enough time for this, I haven't got enough time to make that Let's, I'll just go there for now and it soon mounts up so yeah uh, anyway, so on this episode I'm just going to show you what I bring to work with me for food uh, it last five days and sometimes, yeah I do still eat out, I still have McDonald's um, but I tend not to have much um, Sorry about the noise, I'm on a lay-by, currently just finished work, I'm on a lay-by off, just off the M1. So, let's get into it. So here we have my fridge, it's a fridge and a freezer, it's currently set to around about 2 degrees, even though it's showing as minus 2 on the screen. I'll just show you quickly what I've got in here, but before I do that, this is what I've just taken out of the fridge. Now, these are partly cooked baked potatoes, well they're fully cooked actually, they just need warming up. Then the foil taking off, and then uh, I can eat them. So they've been left out warming up a little bit. So in the fridge, we have grated cheese, salad cream, that's my sin, milk, butter or margarine. Um, these are ready meals, they're not the most healthiest, but you know. Sometimes it is, you know, you can have what it's still a bit of something better than takeaway or KFC or whatever. So we've got a cottage pie here, beef pot pot, there's also spaghetti bolognese and meatballs in there. I also have that is a, a pie, mince onion pie, there's a Lancashire hot pot. We also have Sausages. Now I pre-cook these sausages at home, so they just need warming up in the oven. Oven. Little tip for you: if you're cooking something and then reheating it later, before you put it in this box, let it cool naturally. Don't don't put it in the box and then close the lid. So these are just sausages ready to go. So I can have a sausage sandwich in the morning, and uh, I put the date on there so I know how old they are. Uh, so I've got sausages there, I've got mashed potato, these are all made last night, so I've got uh, mashed potato here, I've got two of these, I've also got some some mints, uh, this is corn mints, um, I think it's a mix of corn and regular to be honest, um, so I can have mints, mash, peas, I've got gravy somewhere so I can have all that, so it's just a little home cooked uh, just, it just feels a bit more homely if you're having something like that. Uh, this fridge, by the way, is, uh, I, is from a company called CUDA. Is it CUDA? Yeah, it was CUDA that supplied the fridge. Um, this, I've had this fridge for about two years now, never had a problem with it. Goes down to minus 12 and it just works. 24 volt, 12 volt. I'll give you the link to that. Uh, the top's a little bit dirty at the moment because the, the window was open and it's just raining on it. So that's the fridge side sorted. So they've seen some of the stuff I've bought. I can I can make anything really. Uh, Chuck Jenko uh, has his wife's made some. Um, well, of course, she's made him now big, nice big pies. Um, something that feels homely, um, and he's looking forward to eating that today. I know that. So we're going to move on to how we're cooking it now. Well, there is several things you can have in the truck. 
Uh, one of them I've got, I'll just show you now. One of them is a toasting, little toasty maker. Works well. This is by All Ride. It's about twenty pounds. Stores in the cupboard, out of the way. Uh, the other way to cook stuff. So you're having a soup or something, you can get some uh, a pan, a miniature camping stove, a miniature camping stove. Camera's just wandering off. Um, a jet boil for water, uh, soup, stuff like that. Probably recommend it just for water, really, because it's. It really is a jet boil. And the other thing is one of these. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by anyone. It's not at all. It's nothing for free here. Uh, truck oven. And I'll. This is what I'm going to use to warm my baked potatoes up. I'm going to have cheese, baked potatoes, uh, and I'll see if I've got anything sweet as well. I've probably got something sweet. I uh, should have some beans somewhere as well, so I may have cheese and beans. But uh, yeah, it's recommended to preheat the oven first for about 15 minutes, put your stuff in, and then give it about an hour for it to be fully cooked, depending on what it is, obviously. Um, so yeah, you can bring you can bring your own stuff. You can bring you can make stuff at home and bring it. If you haven't got a, a good fridge like that, a cool box, you know, a cool box will work as long as it keeps the stuff cool for as long as you're going to need it, which is probably a few days. So if you have anything that's a bit heat sensitive, have that at the beginning of the week and anything that lasts a bit longer, just have that more towards the end of the week. <coughs> you also got, you've also got soups, things like that, um, pretty much anything you can think of you can have in the truck. Uh, if you just make it at home, pre-cook it or part cook it, make sure it's chilled properly, make sure it's... Uh, you're not going to get food poison because it's defrosted and rewarmed. You know, if, if the fridge goes up for some reason for I don't know all night, then is it worth eating what's in there? Depending what it is, it might be worth throwing away. So just just bear that in mind. So yeah, once again, you can make pretty much anything. Just bring it with you. And one thing to note: the power cable on this particular oven is not that long. It's very short. Now on the Actros, we've got a 24 volt down there and a 24 volt on this side so it's going to be somewhere it needs to be somewhere close if you do use an extension make sure it's rated for what your equipment is 